Alright guys, in today's Canva tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make multiple social media posts at different sizes all at once. The first thing you want to do is go to Canva's homepage and click social media. What you're going to look for is the quick create. It's going to bring you to this page where you're going to have to do these different options over here on the left. So I'm going to pick my different formats. So we're going to go Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and maybe a Facebook post and click continue. You can add text here. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. Social media design and then we're going to add some text at the bottom it's the optional text i did not spell social media right so let's go ahead and correct that made easy with canva all right when you click continue this is what's going to pop up apparently you can only put images that you have uploaded to canva already so if you want to use something from canva's library you want to save it as a jpeg and go ahead and upload it so you can do that i'm going to just pick something i made a while ago and then i'm going to click continue you're going to come down to this categories i'm going to use organic since this is a flower and i'm going to pick one of these i think this one will work and click continue and then you can come to your colors or your fonts so you can change them. I'm gonna click image palette and if you want to shuffle the colors you can do that by just clicking the same color palette multiple times. So like this I guess that's fine and eh, maybe one more. Yeah okay. You can go to fonts and you can change it to whatever font they have showing here. Maybe this one that looks decent. We're gonna click finish. When you're done you have two options. You can either download it or you can go to see my collection. I'm going to go to see my collection and it's going to show you a folder that it created with all of your designs in it. If you didn't click download, you can download them by clicking these three little dots and going down to download. Or you can go to all your designs and they will be saved at the top if they were the last thing you created. You can go in here and change elements individually that won't affect all of your other designs in case something got messed up like that or you wanted to add some additional elements to them. If you have any other questions about Canva, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you want to check out Canva Pro, there is a link in the description. And as always, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!